Greetings, fellow YouTubians. It's Miniature Monday. Do you know where your miniatures are? Today we have, well, from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures, the dreaded T-Rex. Uh, it's a large one. It's a very huge miniature. Uh, this particular uh, piece cost me, I think it's $15 or $14.99. And I bought one and I regret it because now I can't find them anywhere. So it appears that people are nabbing them up. Um, there's a giant new wave of just Nolzer's Marvelous Whiz Kids unpainted stuff going on right now. And uh, they did a pretty good set this last round. So, uh, the, I mean, we got these larger ones now for $15. I picked up a couple of those dragons for 30 each. I'm going to be open up a few of those. But I figured, uh, get uh, get cracking on this one and uh, see what we got. I mean, through the packaging, you can tell the detail's good. So, get that out of the way. Got a hollow base there. I might have to trim some of that down. Um, if you're putting this on a round base, it shouldn't be an issue. I am a square base person, so this is going to probably drive me mad, but that's okay. Um, square bases are kind of gone the way of the dodo, so I'm not too, I'm not too bummed about it. So it looks like it's a pretty tight fit, so it looks like you're going to have to trim some of this down to be able to get that to fit in the way you want it to fit in. So, but uh, other than that, the t detail's pretty good. You got the arms, that's pretty much impossible to try to put a fitted sheet on a bed with. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can just do this on camera here and maybe show you all maybe how to this looks like once it's properly seated. Um, of course, uh, it'd be a, probably that time where I, all of YouTube gets to see me pretty much slice a thumb open or something, but you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take for my whopping 116 subscribers now. So, yes, I will bleed for you. So, okay, so, goes on fairly well probably a little bit more trimming needed or right around here forgot how much of off camera I was but I mean it's nothing that some trimming and when you're done with it some liquid green stuff can't fix so scale let's talk about the scale of this puppy it's a big mini and up until now, I haven't really seen any decent miniatures that are dinosaur for D&D. &D. Uh, the closest a lot of people have been able to get is going and buying toy dinosaurs, uh, sometimes from the Dollar Tree, putting them on bases and paint them. I know quite a few people that do that. So still not a bad idea. But this kind of lets you know what kind of scale we're dealing with here. I mean... Look at that. Here's a here's an old Games Workshop miniature too, just in case. But look at that. I mean, we're looking at probably four inches tall. And right around six inches long. I mean, with a uh, almost a three inch round base. That's, that's pretty significant and it's $15 it's a great deal I recommend it the details great on it there's you know some sprue lines some you know molding lines or whatever you want to call them but that's something that should trim off nicely I mean we got kind of a massive one right there you know and you got to fill in probably where the tail connects with some liquid green stuff but other than that it's, it's a pretty solid miniature and I 
heavily think it's well worth the fifteen dollars um, spent on it. Um, you know, but good luck finding it. Like I said, I I showed up and they haven't even put them on the shelf yet. And uh, <laughs> there's this uh, employee at the game shop and he's walking over to the uh, miniatures and uh, with a couple of these in his hand. And I basically just said. Um, <laughs> with my hand out and so he was nice and didn't call me a jerk and uh we got a good laugh out of it and so yeah now i got one of these and i'm gonna i think i bought one of each of the large ones of these uh Nolzer's marvelous miniatures so i'm gonna you know start opening up some of those and put those on as well um so anyway if you uh, enjoyed this video, well, hit like. If you didn't, well, you know, there's that's what the thumbs down's for. I'm not going to tell you what to do. And uh, if you are interested in stuff like this, me opening up random stuff before you spend your money on the same stuff, um, you can subscribe and you get an alert every single time I post something new. So uh, I hope you're having a pleasant day and uh, have a, yeah, nice night.